Hello and welcome to my coding session. I am recording a coding session where I develop my JavaFX application. This is the application for managing XML files which are consist of satellite channels information. And let's recapitulate what I have done previously. Here I have some diagrams and well, here you have um, a diagram. This is not a UML diagram, but this is basically a diagram which explains a lot what I'm doing. <clears throat> so last time I did wrote a TV builder class. This class is responsible for building TV set TV builder object set TV object. And now I need to write another two class for transponder list and set services set. And let's do this. So let me switch to Eclipse and let me create the appropriate unit test case. So I need to create a unit test case for this transponder class and now I just need to create my J unit okay so I'm creating a J unit class for my transponder set transponder builder test I'm creating a class for testing my builder class for for creating transponder object. So now this is pretty the same scheme. Uh, let me just do following. I need to open my test set TV channel builder test, and here I need to write things like this let me just copy I like to re reuse my code a lot uh, so testing if set TV so here I have here I have to change the name because I will test following set set if set transponder builder object exist and here I need to write following test so I need to clearly set TV transponders trans because I have many so set 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 transponder builder creates a list of transponders so set TV transponders, I don't need TV, I just need to set transponders, builder object. And now I have my failing test, let me just quickly execute it, but it's obvious that I have created a failing test. So you see I have created failing test and now I need to work with uh, I need to create this class so I will use the same notation which is oh I did my, let me just move this class from the transponder builder test um, copy and put it in the proper place paste basically it was wrong place <laughs> yeah yesterday I did work a lot on my spring project okay so now I have it uh, set transponder builder test in the proper place and I just need to create a class 
which name will be I need class let me just Java class and now I need to write following set transponder transponders builder class because I creating a list of transponder and this is what I have actually here in my so I have for each of the satellites many transponders and now I need I have I have created this class now I need to let me just copy the name I need to write my setter sure I need to declare it fully now I need to import it and now I need to write my setter here is my setup and here I'm just doing in instantiation of this class so here it is oh need to write new set transponder builder all right so now it should pass all right so you see I have created a passing test and the next move is is to to make um, let me just quickly think over so basically now I need to write a test where I have to check some stuff as I said in one of my recording session a coding session uh, which I have recorded that I need to at some point uh, verify the values which I have in my uh, set services class so in in the set TV in the set TV channel builder I did mention that I do not have a need to test some values but for the transponder I need to check some values and what I mean by that I mean um, the attributes and the proper way to do that so I have my services here this is a document which describes what of the each attribute consists of which type of information is allowed to to save in the in the appropriate XML well let me just quickly look at it so I have here a transponder and I have my model let me just open my model the transponder which represents uh, my view of my transponder class which represents information about the transponder so I have here transponder ID transponder ID transponder frequency transponder symbol rate and so on and so on now I need to delete it so let me just go first I need to I have to look a transponder ID transponder ID is a unique value which represents a unique transponder identification of the satellite so basically it does not it it always unique so I don't need to check it but I have more concern about uh, things like th things like this inversion I will translate it here this value can uh, so so there are the people who created operating system Latrina and which actually creating this XML they state this value isn't so important but it's for convenience only because you have 
some people with uh, cable cable boxes, not with satellite boxes. And is this always uh, this value stays here because of a, of the some sort of a convention? But anyway, I will check it up. Check it up. So I need to write here appropriate test method, which test. Uh, where is my test? Quickly open it. Set transponder builder test. So basically, what I need to test base test void check if set transponder has a and I'm checking check has a and what I'm checking uh, right checking appropriate check transport has a polarization a polarization and I do following I will do assert equals hope I, I spell it right because sometimes I have spelling issue you know expected actual now the message what I'm testing about <coughs> checking if polarization of a transponder has a right value so let me just quickly look up my previous stuff which I have written just for the sake of the righteousness and I basically open wrong class I need to open yeah here yep so you have here the proper signature okay so so basically do following um, now I expect to have only one value which is polarization type and which is transponder which is a byte let me just copy let me just copy this declaration <coughs> and here I have it expected value of transponder polarization So I'm right here just expected transponder polarization and I expect uh, that I will always have by, by the inversion I have only two. So I expect to get a, a two but I, I should check it before I can know what I actually got. So here I just write byte actual transponder polarization. I will just for the sake <coughs> for the sake of the quality of my code, I just write here actual 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 polarization. <coughs> so okay so now what I need to do um, I need to get hold of a object which I have created of the set transponder builder object and call a method which will have the name and check uh, actually I am validate Validate, validate, validate. Um, basically, 
I can do the following things. Yeah, I just do the things like that. And I will write here actually two methods. So, first of all, validate. The validate method validate polarization polarization. I hope I did spell it right. Uh, ah, okay, inversion. Sorry, <laughs> inversion. I'm working with the uh, inversion. Yeah, this is what you get when you work always with Spring. Um, so I need to actually I need to in check it the inversion, yeah, transponder inversion, yeah, inversion. Because I need to check inversion, sorry. <laughs> inversion. So I have here inversion. Inversion. I'm checking here inversion. Inversion validate inversion now have proper names. So and here I need to be able to get hold of the value. Get and here I just write here he get transponder oops inversion inversion get transponder inversion well let's just create all of those methods I hope I did spell it right inversion inversion yeah I, I did spell it right <coughs> so basically I need to I need to create this method on I uh, creating this method and this is a public one and another method get transponder so validate inversion and get transponder inversion pretty 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 simple Create method get transponder inversion type set transponder builder. Yep. Yep. I have I updates. Eclipse. Eclipse community very 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 productive. They are actually fixing bug in, in Eclipse. I like it a lot. So it will be some sort of uh, interesting here. So, validated version. Uh, here I need just to write following private. Private. And here I need to be able to call it up uh, like it's a byte. It's a uh, trans. Let me just think. Transponder inversion. And now I need get an setter for this. So here. Here I'm setting the. And here. Uh, let me just quickly kill it and source getter and setter. I just need my getter. Now it's appropriate. Okay, so validating version. What should it do? Here I need to write simple if statement, which actually.
which, which actually verify what I have. I will have here. Uh, does it need to be boolean? Yeah, I can work with void. Why not? So, but I'm actually mm, thinking about boolean that it's actually appropriate. So here I just need to 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 be able to get of get of a transponder. And here, do I need to pass the inversion to, to be able, in order to be validate? Validate expect some value. Uh, it, it expects some value. Just thinking of how it should be processed. So I need to pass some value. And let's just create some mockup some mockup mockup value. Now I'll just write here mockup value. Let me just uh, do following. Let me just uh, give it two. And I will pass my mockup value <coughs> to this <coughs> to this validate inversion. And now I'm passing some mockup value and byte input. This will be appropriate. Now what I need to do. Uh, I'm actually need to verify that my input equals two, and this if this is the case, I need to return true. Otherwise, I need to return false. So I have here pretty simple stuff. And this is how I'm making sure that I have a valid value. Because according to this specification, uh, the inversion should always be, should always have a value of 2. And what I need to do, so if my value is 2, it's alright. If it's not, I'm I'm actually telling that it is false. And basically, basically in such case, now I need to, to repair this, this situation. And I will do following this set transponder value to my input. No, not to the input. Basically, let me just do uh, yeah. new byte Hope it's right. Mm, I don't need any, actually. I don't need this. Mm, and then I don't like the the formula. Wait a second. Yep, I need. This is what I'm actually getting <laughs> when I work with Spring. Um, but now it's appropriate. So. Yeah. So I I expect to to fix the situation where 
when I validate the inversion and I know and I know that I did fail I did fix it up so if I have some other input like I don't know like one and I'm making sure that I have fixed it in my in this case the situation because if the input is something else as as not as a, as expected is to be I'm setting up to the standard value which is final basically we can change it but it is important to stay following that is I'm getting false I'm just giving that it was in the wrong state so people know okay so I did mistake but it, it was fixed and now I need to switch back to my test and run the test and oh it did fail what have we got expected to actual now okay so ah let me just think of get transponder inversion okay so set transponder inversion standard value of uh, okay ah okay so yeah if input is two then I should call my setter in this case too maybe you think that is redundant but you should you see where my tests are expecting so I'm making sure that in any case my value is set up to a proper value now it should work and now let me ch quickly run my test let me just quickly get to it set transponder build a test Now I need to check it. Run as. Yeah, now I have passing. And basically, it doesn't matter which I which value I will assign. It it should always stay positive. Yeah. So here, I mean, let me just let me just. Uh, change it like this and this should be sufficient so now I validate my inversion value now what what is next and uh, let me just quickly open my list now I did check it the inversion and I need to check the next thing will be fake inner the, the fake inner type let me just quickly look it up what it is and this is my builder transponder fake inner then it is pretty the same stuff so I need to check test I'm writing a failing test check if set transponder I just thinking about uh, naming uh, the previous created previously created test um, 
now I need to check uh, like right here check if set transponder in well uh, inversion validation works okay check if set transponder and here like I did set fake in a transponder fake in a so basically it's have same signature like in a validation works now for the for this type of case what my document saying the fake in can have following values two three four and five that's it this is the maximum for my fake inner attribute type and let me just quickly think about how I need to check it so basically let me just make some notation so I basically need to copy this and I don't need this and how I should work it so so I can use a list of value but but in what I have in my uh, transponder class I have here fake inner which is byte which is of, of of the type of byte transponder fake inner and let me just uh, let me just make some notations so I need to byte so 2 is allowed 3 is allowed 4 is allowed 5 is allowed all other values are not allowed for the fakina and how I should make it sure how I should make it sure so basically I expect a boolean result if one is okay is I mean is if two is it is ok is if is it three it is ok is four is ok and five is ok so I'm actually expecting here boolean result boolean expected result is now the expected result should be true and the actual result let me just think how I should test it so goes like this set transponder builder object I need to write here validate validate fake inner and basically I need to pass some sort of a mock-up mock -up, mock -up value and I basically need to do this in the loop I looping through the stuff and I need to write here boolean actual result which is false Now, I'm pretty sure that should work, but how it should work? So I need to to write here some for loop. Mm, 
mm, I will say this is some sort of an array and it's a byte I have I have to work with bytes and it starts with two and it goes until until five and and here in this loop I'm looping through all of the stuff and uh, I expect to have to get an actual result which is let me just copy it alright so let me just quickly write it and I need to write my assert equals and I have my expected result and actual result so what I'm expecting to get I have my valid values I'm looping through all of my valid values 2, 3, 4, 5 and I expect to get a positive result and then I just show you that I can actually that it fails when I have another value let me just let me just do it like this so checking if a inner of a transponder has a right value now here it is like following all right so let me just quickly do some sort of a failing test now I just need to run it and, and, and it will fail yeah it did fail this was expected and now I need to fix it so basically I have here switch statement switch on B okay so I need to write a switch statement from which I go and test my stuff let me just okay so I need to bow where's my recording session okay that's, doesn't matter sometimes it is like this and when I work with my recording tool it happens not always but okay sometimes uh, hmm funny 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 this is just funny okay now I will uh, okay I can I need to write a switch statement so let me just write a switch uh, yeah so I am switching over 
I don't need the default. I basically, I can use default here. Yeah. I can use default. So, now you say it's kind kind of redundant, but I may I need to make sure that I'm doing the right stuff. So, if if I have case two. I actually need to write my. I need to write my transponder back in a variable, and here I need just to write my code. Now this is actually good. So this is actually rather good and. So I'm setting up my fake inner and here when I have my case S2 I'm setting up this set set uh, set transponder fake inner and that means that my value is okay and let me just quickly refactor it refactor rename I need to write here what I need to write here input you know and then return through And after that, I calling my break. Ah, okay. Uh, let me just think, quickly think. Unreachable code. One quick available remove now. Mm, all right. So it's not a problem. I need to write here boolean result is false. I just need to do it as the right way. Sorry. Yeah, it's things like when I. <laughs> it's always interesting when I'm working with my enterprise project, and then switch over to the core project. It's sometimes breaking my thinking process. Yeah, this happens a lot in Java enterprise. This is what I get. Uh, so kinda, I'm actually can. Let me just think of it. I need to extract this to the method refactor extract method and I will write here set valid fake in a value Uh, boolean actually it should return a value in such case I don't need this Because I have yeah, yeah. I need just to, 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 to send a return return. So I setting up appropriate I setting up valid fake in a value and I'm returning true. And that's it. And here is a actually what I need to add this is just for convenience stuff and actually what I'm return at the end of my method is a result so basically basically pretty obvious stuff
and right now I need to work with it and <clears throat> so now I need to write it like this let me just quickly um, sometimes I have a problem with my recording tool just check it up do I have my okay all right so not nothing it's not a problem okay it's actually a two part uh, yeah sometimes I have problem with my recording software well let me just do following um, I'm still working at this um, some sort of a switch and now I need just to copy all one one in the same stuff many times so here I have here let me just do following in the case of two I am setting setting up my set transponder for you know in the case of three I'm setting up the the set transponder effect inner value and in the case of 4 and now let me just go to my test did my test so I have to work with 5 until the 5 and let me write another case case of 5 now I need to do like this and what should happen if I have a default value None of those, none of those values. Well, in this, in this case, I actually will uh, set up a value, and this will probably, I will just write here, byte, final byte default value and this is basically I will set up to 2 and just let me just do the following like this and and it should work too now I need to I need to make sure that I'm doing my job right. Uh, yeah. So I need to extract here method, refactor extract method, and I call it validator because basically no basically the, I'm not validating I'm setting up setting up set up set set up valid values for like inner this is basically what I'm doing now I have here separated the stuff and this is pretty clean and I need to make sure okay so I need to make sure that I'm doing the right job So in the fall case it will return true which isn't 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 good sign actually but it will set up the value well in this case I need to uh, do it like this because what is what is, what means the default the default case 
this default case it is a case where I have not the valid value from for my Fekina and I need to make sure that I am actually failing in such case and the response is a false so I'm doing the right job and alright so let me just let me let me just run my test in this case it will pass let me just run my test let me just quickly save all JNE test okay so it pass but what actually happens let me just quickly test it out what happens when I have some mockup value like I don't know let me just write here by byte uh, failing mockup mockup value I don't know like zero which is not which should which, which is not should happen but let me just quickly test it out yeah so you see clearly that in this case I have I have right behavior so if I get at some point it's at some point uh, wrong value my case uh, my test case will fail and this is what I'm actually expect to happen when I have in my list some 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 value which not which not uh, right so basically what I'm doing I'm making sure that my my values are in the proper range of my domain stuff and basically I'm thinking about to write another another test case because it can fail at some point so uh, let me just quickly look up to the guide fail I think failing fail a fail a failing test let me just quickly look it up at, at assertions assertions frames I, I should use frames and I need to look up in assertion class assertions and here I need to look up fail yep sometimes it did not work for me let me just look it up assertions click it and no frames and just look it up for fail so basically what is fail fail is with a given failure message ah, I don't need this I need to uh, assert 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 fail actually assert fail That's all false assert that the supply condition is not true that's what I need so I need to write another test uh, test uh, check if set transponder fake in a validation fails because this is a clear indicator that in such case I will fail I mean I will set up this, uh, the value the default value will be set up 
but it, it is an indication that I got some problem in my data structure. It is, uh, it is all about the, the stuff with the data structure. Now I need to delete this and let me just write here copy copy the assert false do it like this and I'm actually I don't I actually need to call it up uh, and do it like this to write here void so in a way it is <coughs> maybe some sort of redundant but I need to have this uh, assert false in my case this 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 suite uh, let me just delete the stuff which I don't need so I have both both cases covered I have my case where I am passing all of my values and I have a clearly a case where I getting I get some value which is a clear indicator that a user or the data is invalid which I got now when I run my test it should fail too yeah and when I run all of my tests I should have passing all yeah so you see sometimes it works like this and it's cl cl clearly obvious what I'm doing so let proceed further so I did check it up fake inner and let's hope I did so I am looking at my notice inversion and fake inner check it okay so now I need to work with polarization I need to work with my polarization and version I just look it up here so now I need to work with polarization but what what is with, with about with the polarization uh, for the polarization is can be zero or one zero or one zero or one uh, okay so it's pretty so it's pretty obvious polarization can be one or or two uh, do I do I have services I think this is this, so yeah so polarization can be zero or one and I, I now I need to make sure that I'm using up the right stuff so I'm right actually another test case and I need to make sure check if sat transponder polarization works so and I think I will use all, almost the same boolean expected result is true actual result can be false now I have to assert my I can actually copy it I can 
always reuse your stuff. Do not write, do not write an unnecessary code. It's always complicate your program life when you write unnecessary code. code. So I need to write here check of polarization. Polarization of a transponder has the right value. So I now and now I need only to get an actual result which is uh, just to call the set transponders object and here validate polarization and here it goes like this so I'm actually doing following so I can only have two valid values which is zero or one and I need to pass uh, some value to, to this and let me just look it up what type of poly what type of values is allowed transponder is a byte okay so now I need to have two values Boo byte polarization polarization vertical is I think zero vertical is one horizontal is one zero byte polarization horizontal is one and now I need just to pass these values one for vertical and I should repeat it once again I can write for loop but it is not necessary in this case I just need to do it like this and in both cases I should I should get uh, true I mean it should pass and now I need to work it out. So create. Oops. Sometimes the clip's not helpful, but most cases it's very helpful too. And here you go. So my test set transponder builder should fail. It did fail as expected and now what I need to do I need to go back to my builder and here in the builder class uh, yeah here let me just move it to the before set on getter because set on getter always at the bottom in my in my coding guidelines so here I just need to write basically I'm expecting a result which can be false and I need to write switch case switch case switch now I will just use Eclipse for this kind of things. So in the in the case if I got and I'm almost forgot. Oh yeah, I need to write here. So set transponder. So I need to. Create a proper value and I need get on setter. Let me just create source getter on setters. Now I have it. And what I should do so in the case of one. 
I need to set up my result to true. And of course, um, at the end, I returning. Uh, I'm writing a return of a result. So here I'm set. I have true, and I'm setting up. Set a set transponder polarization, which should be horizontal. And actually, it's not. <laughs> it's not the right name. E refactory name. Actually, this is input input. Yeah, now it's all, all right. So, and basically, what I'm doing here, I'm setting up this value, and I don't like it that I need to write so much stuff and just refactor extract method. And here, here I just write set up valid polarization value. Now here, actually I need to do following. Let me just... Uh, I can actually do like this. I don't need... So it should be sufficient. And now I just need to write another case. Which is... For the matter of the fact, which is, uh, let me just do it like this, and copy it, same, same code. And now I need to work out my default. And for the default, so as, as I said earlier, I'm a fan of a kind of data structure consistency. So for the sake of a final, I think it's final byte, final byte default value, default value is zero, yeah. I'm making sure that I'm setting up a default value, but in this case, the result is actually false because I got an I got an invalid value but I fix it some sort of a fix it and yeah now I just need to copy and why I'm doing this fixing because I need to have uh, I need to make sure that I have that I'm staying in the proper range which is defined in this document yeah now I have done this let me just before I refactor this code further um, I need to run my test let me just run my test it works pretty well so now I need to refactor my code and refactor extract method. So basically what I should do in here, I am setting up valid polarization value. Uh, I already having uh, I have already have some same method with name um, let me just think about it I'm actually actually it's some sort of evaluating evaluate 
valid polarization values. Should work. So and now I can test it once again. Oh, I did. Let me just go to the to the builder test and check it. Uh, it's wrong, wrong test. Um, set transponder builder test. I did not open it. Uh, strange. Set transponder test. No, it's not. Not the t builder. Actually, I'm testing the builder. Builder test. So let me just close it. Now I can test it out. Well, polarization works. Run as JUnit test. It pass. And now I need to write a failing test. So test void ch check if set. Transponder polarization fails, and it's pretty uh, pretty simple. So basically, I expect to get uh, some value. I don't know, like six doesn't matter. It should fail. It should fail, and I need to write here boolean actual result. And here I need to assign some value, and which is failing mockup value. And now I need to write my assert equals assert equals, and here I need to have my expected result. Uh, oh, sorry. I actually don't need to write any calls. I need to write here assert fails. Assert false and false is false. Now it should fail, and I expect it to fail. It it will pass, but this is a failing test. What this is what I mean. <laughs> yeah, so assert false. Uh, just me show you quickly the API. So assert false, making sure that uh, that I have a failing test, but it's actually well evaluated as true because I did fail. In the matter of the fact. And it works. So when I run all of my tests, yeah, it works pretty pretty well, pretty well. Yeah. Okay. So did I check it all of the range stuff? Let me just quickly look up. I don't need. Uh, I don't need the model. Don't need it. Transponder, set transponder, transponder. Yeah, transponder builder gets crowded. But this is the nature. This is actually the nature of the stuff. Because I need to check check some values. It doesn't uh, give me another opportunities. So I mean, another choices to do in the stuff. So I'm making sure that my inversion, fact inner and polarization staying in the range, in the cor correct range. And that's it for testing. To make this is all what I need for making sure.
for my transponder stuff. Do I need to check on it? The stuff with the on it, I think it need it shouldn't be checked at all. Because what I have actually okay, so I'm working with the on it as a string. Uh-huh, okay. And on it as I as I remember I recollect my thoughts, on it is a hexadecimal value. So the user provides a decimal value and I convert convert it later to the hexadecimal value but this I would rather do later in my development when I work with my graphical user interface and I'm thinking about to do the stuff right the right way so that's it for this coding session and I did not I will do in the separate station the stuff with the JDOM because basically my set transponder builder did not created any object yet but I do it for the next session thank you all and bye bye